Douglas fir is the greatest structural softwood fiber on the face of the earth. And Oregon is the greatest growing ground for Douglas fir trees in the world. The company and our family have, have always had roots in this area. We are tied to this resource over a multi-generational period, and we're only four years away from our 100th anniversary, which is a pretty significant milestone. The company started in 1922 on the North Fork of the North Sanian River. My grandfather uh, had the challenges of working in the woods with very archaic equipment. The world was completely different in the 20s and the 30s. In uh, the late 50s, veneer and plywood was being used increasingly. We needed to house the GIs that had come home from the Second World War and, and the baby boom was on and we went to veneer manufacturing. It was one of the best moves we've, we've made. Over the last 20 years since we purchased the plywood facility, we've made a wide range of commodity sheathing grade products. Roofs, walls, floors, a whole stream of residual products. Bark fines, hog fuel, planer shavings, chips. Even the wood that gets picked up off the ground, you know, we could use that as fuel for our cogeneration facility, which supplies power to about 5,000 homes. We've spent a lot of time and effort trying to make sure that we waste nothing. The resource is so valuable, it's incumbent upon us to make sure that we make as beneficial use of every portion as possible. The resource really drives the rest of our operations and a lot of our decisions. And the further you get away from that resource, the more difficult it is to have a successful operation. A few years ago, one of the things that we recognized is that the market was changing. It started working on ways in which we could use our primary production processes with, with plywood and create something much like a cross landed timber. We glued a lot of wood together in a whole lot of different configurations and, until we came upon a way that we could meet and exceed the design values for CLT. We were able to start designing panels that would not only fit our current production process, but would actually lead us to what would be an evolutionary jump in the performance of a mass timber panel. We have an enormous opportunity here to create one of the finest building materials available. And that, that all comes from this region and this area. We've really had to be innovative. We've had to be really efficient. We've had to be very cutting edge in all of our operations in order to survive as long as, as we have. The ongoing economic benefit of a business, especially in a rural area that's typically been somewhat economically depressed, is really hard to quantify. Not only are you providing products that obviously are worth a substantial amount of money to consumers, it's providing jobs on a daily basis that benefit the local community. I think it adds to, again to that sense of gravity that you have in making sure that you have a successful ongoing operation.